Uh, apparently, modern women love being promiscuous on the whatever clips. I like this channel. They're kind of like the, the fresh and fit 2.0 in colleges. You know, so it's very interesting to see how these women respond to questions, um, these different kinds of panels. Let's see. Do you guys believe modern women love being promiscuous? All right. You know, that, that, that's the whole thing, right? Hookup culture, uh, women not caring about body counts. These are the consequences. Modern women, they don't care about closing the legs. They just want to open them. I'm free. I'm free. And no accountability. So let's see what these women have to say. Again, modern women love being promiscuous. Yeah. Men haven't changed. We, we adapt. So the dating, the dating marketplace has shifted. If, see, women are the gatekeepers of sex. So if what it takes it's to get- true, they are. They make the decisions. They choose who they open up to and who they close up to. Sex from a woman is marriage. That's what men will do. But if what it takes to get sex from a woman is a couple messages on the dating app, come over that's do. what men will do because haram. men generally that's like our primary motivating factor actually that's not haram behavior that's city boy behavior right city boy city boy things to get sex so men really haven't changed so much F feminism freed women from commitment from marriage so i mean there is different people. that's a good point do you guys agree feminism essentially Freed women from being committed to relationships. Do you guys agree with that? Different perspectives. You're definitely looking for somebody who has certain kind of values so that if you don't match on that even simple level, that's a no for you as well. It's not just a no from like your side. So like just I guess the easiest would be to move on and you know find somebody and ask the questions you want to ask that gonna you know give you what you want. Okay. What, what did she so wait? What did she just say? I, I did not understand at all what she just said. I think like all men like want necessarily that like low body count, like someone submissive, and I feel like it's it very no, not all men want that. Men must learn these things. That's what the red pill is for, right? To sit here and learn and choose the right kind of girl to be able to maintain a long, happy, healthy relationship, okay? That's why these values are important. Not all men have these values. A lot of men want to sit here and do what? They're just going to clap. But, I, but you know, we can sit here and we can clap till we're 35 and then we can learn these values and we can start applying it to our life. A woman can't do that. They have, they are on a biological time clock. That's not on us. That's just a fact. Based on all men don't. Based, yeah, based off no, the not, person. No, not all men, but Ma most men okay. want those things. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. And I also don't think all women feel like ashamed to have a high body count or ashamed to be like sexually liberated. I don't. They don't, but they should. Why should they? Why should they be ashamed? Yeah. <laughs> well. Okay, well, we, wait, why should a woman be ashamed for having a high body why count? Why should they be ashamed? Yeah, it, I don't. They don't, but they a high body count or ashamed to be like sexually liberated. I don't. They don't. Okay, why should women be ashamed for having a high body count? Because again, you need to take accountability for opening and closing your legs. You sitting here and not taking accountability for that and being like, yeah, I'm free, blah, blah, blah. Men and women are different. We understand that you're born with your value and we have to create our value. When we go out in the street, all right, and we meet a woman, we need to be able to communicate. We need to be able to be financially well. We need to be able to be confident. These are all skills that we need to build over time, all right? And our success rate is very, very low. A woman is just bored. She can go out, talk to a few guys. Guess what? She go get the D if she want the D. So our values are absolutely different. That's why it matters. But they should. Why should they? A woman wants a man with a high body count, and a man doesn't want to wife a woman with a high body count. That's it. That's how we're different. I should they be ashamed? Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, well, we can go back to the body count thing, but um. I, I don't think, for, and, and I don't think either. Like, the host is struggling with this question, man. This is simple. 
the host is struggling with this question. That's crazy. IXS says 30 bodies in four years. That's an average of seven to eight men a year. That's right, man. And, and what do you think you're going to deal with that when a woman has seven to eight bodies a year, bro? And she's in her 30s. 30 bodies, bro. She got a lot of emotional damage. Why didn't any guy want to commit to her? That's something you really got to ask yourself. Why didn't any guy want to commit to her? Maybe she had an attitude problem. Maybe she left them. Maybe she cheated. Either men or women should be promiscuous. I d some, some men argue, well, it's okay for men. Um, and th there are differences between men and women, and w there is a double standard there. But I'm coming at this. I mean, there's not really a double standard. Uh, Tyreek McLaughlin just answered this amazingly. Women have a biological time clock, but men have a financial time clock. All right? That's why we must grind. That's why we must provide. That's why we must talk about hustle and money so that we can sit here and provide and protect our families. All right? Women like that. Women want those things from a man. From what makes society function best, and that is the <laughs> nuclear family, traditional households, <laughs> and uh, monogamy. That's, that's how society functions best, I think. I agree. I agree. I agree. I think there's so many people and so many different personalities that it's 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 impossible to fit us all in that box. So I feel sure, there some, are. You, see, you have to be careful with people that speak like this because when you're trying to have a debate or like you're trying to make a point, people will always try to deflect and run and be like, oh, but it depends. Oh, but there's exceptions, blah, blah, blah. We all know the exception does not disprove the reality or the rule or the point, right? There are many different people who, who mm -hmm. pride themselves in being sexually liberated. I mean, I think yeah, and most guys don't want to marry that, bro. That's that's the reality of life. Most guys don't want to marry that, and that's why you got Lana Rhodes out here. She prided herself on doing what corn, and now she's like, no, oh, it sucks. I don't recommend it. I don't. I, I will tell a lot of women not to do it because now even the women that were brought up doing it alongside me, they're not making the same bag I am. And their life is way worse than mine is. They've been And who sold. enjoy sex. I mean, I think they've been sold a lie. As, no, I think can you can enjoy sex. Nailed and it. Still Nailed believe it. in monogamy and mm -hmm. being more traditional and mm -hmm. all these things. And listen, I, look, ultimately at the end of the day, you're free to do whatever you want. You, you have autonomy. If you want to move in life a certain Feminist way, love exceptions. that's fine. Me though, right? that's funny. But I'm thinking in terms of what is best for society it's monogamy and family and not people not getting divorced and raising kids that is what is best for society everybody doesn't need to do those things but we must understand what is best for society and agree with it and now you can tell that she's gonna come up with a oh but it depends on the person and all this shit yeah, that's I feel like society would function if better if people would stay together and work together to raise their children. But, yes. you know, life is hard. And and, and I think it's, there it. you go. Doesn't want to take accountability. Life is hard. That's her excuse. So, some people can. don't want to have children. I think that's fine. But we are I guess a complaint I have or not a complaint, but the, I'm concerned about how, you know, the, the divorce rate is sky high. Divorce is super common and. I don't know. I don't think it's a good. <laughs> Sorry. Did... Go ahead. Yeah, I just uh, I had a comment about monogamy before, but that's fine. Um, I think the divorce. Well, you can say what you wanted to say. initially. Um, but... I think monogamy now is different from monogamy that it used to be because monogamy now is one person at a time. Monogamy in the 17th century is one person for life. So we're talking about different definitions of monogamy. And then we include the what? open relationship. <laughs> and all the kind of stuff that creates even... What? Why is she making up turns? Mon monogamy has one term. Bigger confusion for people. And I think that women are sold the idea that they are like men, they can also perceive a sex as sport, which is not true because the moment okay. you agree to have a sex with a man, you agree you can have a, ch child with a child with that person. And that's wired in you biologically. That's just how your body works. You can deny it, you can lie to yourself, you can say that's not true, you feel differently, but you have that longing to continue the relationship with that person with whom you had sex. And that's because you are emotionally attached to that. That's why men can have a lot of different sex 
encounters and still not feel a thing for them. Like, you know, they can love the one person, but f with another one. But woman can't. Like, we Perfect. Yo, she RP aware. She RP aware, for real. That girl's looking at her like, I'm totally zoned out at anything you're saying. I don't agree. Emotionally attached to the person we have a sex with because yes. we agreed to have a child with that person. Well, here's the thing, though, is when a woman has had a lot of sexual partners, she loses that. Yeah, that's true. I agree. Yeah. But you're, you're right. Just women can ch start chipping away at that bonding. Yeah. So, and you wanted yes. to come in? And uh, I liked exactly what you said, but I feel like women should not be promiscuous at all. I agree with you, by the way, um, because like he said, they cannot commit after having multiple partners. And on top of that- oh, Look at that. We got another RP aware person. Yo, what? Yo, what is it? Back in black? These two women? <laughs> that's great. Imagine sitting there, you want to be a wife, you want to be loyal. How, how can you do that if you're practicing, you know, sucking fun dip every week? You're not practicing cooking, you're not practicing mental health, you're not practicing how to talk to him, how to cater, how to be submissive, and how to talk to him in a nurturing way. You're practicing sucking pee pee. That's not the same thing. But that's, <laughs> what if that's not what you want? Yo! You don't want to be. Yo, savage! Savage! I'm only speaking on women who like want to be wives. All the other OF hoes and all those type of girls, I'm not talking to y'all. Not you, but like in general. Being honest, can it's I only for my traditional queen. Sorry. Can I also nah, she was talking about her, bro. You should have looked her dead in the eye, just been like, "Yo, that's you. That's gonna be you in five years when you're complaining about all this nonsense you're talking about." They are all zoned out. Their attention span is probably less than ninety seconds due to how many short vids they watch. Probably. Let's be honest. Uh, the road to Mia Khalifa. <laughs> And that uh, yes. you started talking about divorce rate. I think the reason the high, the divorce rate is so high is because, um, sorry, I lost my thought. Um, is because women uh, like men don't know how to build relationship. Me, women don't know don't know how to build relationship. So they start the sex part because it's the most well, easy part to figure out. This is the problem: is that she's saying that a man don't know how to build a relationship, but the woman is the one that's initiating the divorce. So the man knows what he's doing. He knows he needs to provide, but the woman and the more educated she is. What does she do? She wants to leave him. And for the most part, there are two reasons as to why a woman leaves a man. 33% or 34% is, is, oh, we're not emotionally connected anymore. Very subjective point of view. One girl could feel like she cares about you one day last week and then not care about you the next day, right? So very subjective point, very subjective reason as to why most women are getting divorces. The second one is finance. That's why as men, we must make money. We can't be bums when she don't get the lifestyle she wants or the one she sees on Instagram or the one she sees on TikTok that she gonna feel miserable, depressed because she didn't understand her role as a woman, as a wife. So what does she do? She gets up and she leaves. In a relationship, that's like, everybody knows how to do that. We never were taught how to do that. That's like a natural thing for us. But nobody talks and teaches us how to communicate, how to build boundaries, how to communicate your values, how to, I don't know, talk about like future Speaking together and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. that's why people are so bad at like actual long-term relationship because the, when the sex part is eliminated, there is nothing left. Um, being honest, you can only say that for so long. You know what I mean? Like once you get to a certain age, maybe there's books, there's education. If you could sit on your phone all day, watch TikTok things, you could watch how to be a wife. Pearly Yo! Things, she has a wife edition um, thing that she does for a whole hour. She teaches you guys how to be wives. So there's all these things now that you can learn to be a wife. So when women give me another excuse after another, I'm not buying it. It's going in. Nice. Winning. Nice, bro. Yo, W these two women right here spreading the truth. No, I'm saying that people jump to the sex part so quickly because that's the easiest thing you can do women the, women are the ones who control sex so yeah I women mean, I control mean, assuming, they're opening their legs too con, fast yeah assuming consent and all that kind of stuff and assuming there's man who may not also want to have sex that fast whatever yes people jump so fast because the sex part is understandable i agree Okay. And here's another thing too, like at least with me, I'm a very stern woman. I know what I bring to the table and I offer a lot. So when I talk to a man, I tell him, I'll cook for you. I'll do whatever you want. I'll meet your needs, but I'm not having sex with you too soon. I don't, I think a lot of people misconstrue if I don't sleep with you right off the bat that I'm not into you. That's not the case. I want to get to know you. I want a deeper connection because I want a husband. That's what I'm looking for. So if women had stern <coughs> boundaries, the world would be so different right now, but instead they want to be, oh my God, let's pop it open for everybody. That's yeah. not good at all. I agree. Oh, damn. Yeah, Apparently they got another video right here that says women want equality only when it benefits them and is pointing at this girl right here So maybe she's not as RP aware as we think she is. But either way that that, that was a great debate What do you guys think? That, that was like a nice little great points that they were making I think that's a nice little warm-up uh, Towards the stream 
What do you guys think? W, agree, W, yeah, 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 fuck, yeah. My guys, my guys, my guys, bro. That was great. That was great. We learned a lot from that one.